Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to install and set up the Canon Maxify GX2020 printer software on your computer. So whether it's a Windows or Mac OS device, in today's tutorial I have you covered. And this should hopefully be a pretty straightforward process of getting that set up. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump straight into it. And we're going to start by opening up a web browser of our choice. And it doesn't really matter, I just open up Google Chrome. Or actually, it's Microsoft Edge. They all look very similar nowadays. But in the Google, you want to go ahead and search for Canon Maxify GX 2020 software. Go ahead and search for that. And there should be something that says Canon support for Mega Tank Maxify GX 2020. Go ahead and select that. And then once you're on this page, you can go ahead and look up the manual or other help information. But in today's case, we're just going to go down underneath downloads and select software and drivers. And you want to select your operating system and version if it's not automatically detected here. And then once that is populated or loaded, you go down under three and select the master setup and select download. And then once that's done, go ahead and run the installer file. It should say master setup, Canon Inc. Again, make sure it says Canon Inc. here and select yes. And then once that is done, it should launch the installer here. Please select your language. Click the drop down if it's anything other than English and select OK. Select the region as well and then OK again. Give it a moment. And then select start setup. And then you will have to select check all. You don't have to do the optional updates down here. Just do the required one at a minimum and then select next. And then give us a moment here. And then make sure the printer is turned on and just follow the directions on the screen here. So go ahead and select next. And then select either Wi-Fi, LAN, or USB connection, whatever your preference type is. And then you would select Next. And then you can go ahead and follow along with the on-screen prompts, like I said. If you're using a wireless printer or Wi-Fi connection, you may need to have it set up on your printer as well. So go through the menu on the printer itself and then come back in here. But like I said, pretty straightforward process on that, guys. And as always, thank you for watching. I do hope that I was able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.